Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Hera Brown and today we are going to be talking about how to get started working out and what I wish I knew when I started working out at age 61. So first, you want to know your why. Why is it you want to start working out? Is it to regain your health? Is it to regain your strength? Is it to feel better in your clothing? Have you gained weight during menopause and you want to lose that extra few pounds? What is your why? Your why is your vision, is your bigger vision, and it's what pulls you forward. So for me, my why was I had actually been walking my dog. I've at the time had a 185 pound Great Dane named Baron, who has since passed. But my great, I was walking my Great Dane one morning and he saw another dog and he charged at that dog and I held on to the leash and he dragged me five feet bumbling along cement. And I was pretty badly injured and it took me about three days to recover. And during that time, I realized I was weak. I was frail. My balance wasn't, was off. And I just didn't have that strength that I needed. And with that, I thought, you know what? I, I, I was feeling insecure now about walking my dog and not being able to control him. So what I decided to do is get in shape. That was my why. It's like, I wanna feel confident, I wanna feel comfortable. And uh, when I'm walking my dog and not worry that he's gonna drag me down the road like a, like a doll on a string. So that was my why. Okay, so what is your why? Step number two, after you know your why, is how do you want to learn? So for me, there's a gym where I live, and I knew that for strength training, I wanted to learn how to utilize the gym and lift weights. That sounded very appealing to me. And I realized I didn't know a thing about it. So I started asking people uh, who live in the area, you know, will you train me? Will you train me? Where can I get training? Because I didn't know how to use any of the equipment. So I needed to learn how to use gym equipment and how uh, to exercise, what to do, what not to do. So how do you want to learn? That's the second step. Do you want to take uh, classes? Do you want to hire a private trainer for a few weeks? Do you want to sign up for an online program? How do you prefer to learn how to work out? So that's step number two. Step number three is you need to create a schedule. You have to have a schedule. If you don't have a schedule, you won't work out. So here's the thing, a schedule, you need a schedule. None of us can quote unquote, find time to work out. It doesn't work that way. You really need to make time. So it took me a couple of months. I found somebody who would train me and their only option for training me was Monday, Wednesday, Thursday mornings at 6.30. This didn't fit in my schedule, but if I wanted to work out with this person, I had to make it happen. So I reworked my schedule. I committed to three days a week, which is what I still do almost three years later, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and I show up at the gym for a workout at 6.30 a.m. consistently. So put it in your schedule, put it in your calendar, figure out what works for you. Here's the thing, it's not going to just show up on your calendar. And there's really not a convenient time. You, you may need to rework your schedule. So I had to go to bed earlier so I could wake up earlier, so I could walk my dog earlier, so I could be at the gym earlier. So you need, you'll need to find out how to make this new time fit into your schedule if you want to work out, okay? So that's the third step. The fourth step, when you start working out, whether it's with a trainer or um, through YouTube videos or an online program, is I found this to be one of the most important things for women, I will say over 50, um, is focus on form. 
when you are working out in the gym, it's not about using heavy weights. I don't use heavy weights. I never have. My weights are in, range anywhere from five to 15 at most, maybe 20 pounds. So what you wanna do is focus on your form. Learn the exercises properly, do the exercises properly to avoid injury. That I think is the absolute most important point for those of us who are beginning a weight training, uh, resistance training journey at the age of 50 and older. Okay, so learn proper form. So just a few things that my trainer has shared with me over and over and over is one, stand up straight and keep your shoulders back. When your shoulders are hunched, you tend to use your back muscles. And that's not what you wanna do when lifting weights. You wanna use the strength in your arms and in your core. So my trainer's constantly telling me, shoulders back, Hera, shoulders back, core in, hold, which is your stomach, your, your, you know, your pelvic area. You need to hold all that tight, hold it in, and, and shoulders back, chest up, okay? So focus on form. Whether you're reading an exercise in a magazine or, a, or a, watching a YouTube video, always focus on your form. Another great way to learn also is to film yourself, whether it's you know, with your iPhone or a little camera, if, you have, if you're working out with a friend or a trainer, ask them to film you working out because when you see yourself, when you replay it, you'll see, oh, I was slouching. Oh, you know, my balance was off here. You really can see yourself uh, and make those corrections, um, but you can see yourself making where you're, where you're doing well and where you're, where you're slouching or, you know, you don't have your chest up, okay? So see if you can get somebody to record you. Um, I think it's amazing the feedback, it's, it's, it's feedback for you. Okay, so now you're gonna focus on your form, right? The next thing, what you're gonna find out with working out is, and this happens naturally, which I think is uh, wonderful, is you're going to want to eat more nutritious foods. And that's because food is fuel. And when you're working out, you are burning more calories. You're burning more calories working out. You're learning the, the routines, your, your schedule is changing. So you're using both mental energy and your physical energy. So you need to fuel your body with food, more nutritious food. And trust me, <laughs> I learned this the hard way because for the first few weeks, I still ate I still ate whatever I wanted to eat, which wasn't that good. You know, it might have been nachos for dinner and a glass of wine or a margarita and, um, you know, maybe too many uh, non healthy foods. And I'll tell you, there is nothing worse than showing up at the gym in the morning knowing that you uh, had margarita and nachos or pizza and wine, and then your trainer having you do. 25 jumping jacks and 50 mountain climbers. Oh my gosh, it's awful. I'll just tell you right now, it's awful. You know, that gurgling feeling in your stomach is like, oh. Anyway, um, yeah, so I would say, learn that from me, don't do that. It is not worth the pain. <laughs> and trust me, I tried everything. I started off with, uh, I don't know, maybe a glass or so of wine, you know, with dinner. Then, then, then another time I'm like, okay, well maybe I'll just have a half a glass of wine. Now I don't have any alcohol on nights prior to working out. It just, for me, it just doesn't work. Um, so I just avoid it completely <laughs> and save it for non-workout nights. Okay, so you're going to eat more food. You're going to drink more water because here's the thing, you need to eat more, I'm gonna add this too, you need to eat more protein. Most women do not get enough protein in general. Then you add on to that working out, physical exercise. Your body needs protein to build muscle. So you're going to want to include more protein in your meals. So for example, I'm 120 pounds. I, my goal for every day is 120 grams of protein and I just break that up with my three meals a day. So do your best to add more protein and at least see where you are and, and, um, and record how much protein you already are eating in a day to see if that 
you know, is enough. Okay, so protein, protein builds muscles. And it's not about getting big and muscular. People ask me that, oh, I don't wanna get big and muscular. I don't either, but I wanna be strong and fit and lean. And you still need protein to do that, okay? So we're gonna eat more, drink more water, or eat more nutritious foods, excuse me. Drink more water. Then the next thing is you're gonna to wanna to sleep more because it's gonna make you tired. I used to come back from some of my workouts at you know quarter to eight in the morning and by 11 or 12 that day or, or, or one or two, I literally couldn't keep my eyes open. I was exhausted because I wasn't filling up on nutritious food. I wasn't getting enough sleep. I wasn't, I, you know, I didn't know how to, uh, my body hadn't acclimated to working out. And so, and I was, you know, it was a kind of a process of trial and error. So you want to get more sleep. And if that means going to bed at half an hour earlier or taking a nap, whatever works for your schedule, you will find in the beginning that you may need more rest. And the beauty of that is while you're resting is when your muscles and your body uh, repairs itself from your workout. Okay, so you're gonna get more rest. And then I would say probably my favorite tip of all, my best tip for working out is create your personal mantra. And let me explain this. So when I first started working out, it was really fun the first week or two. I was like, woohoo, this is great. I'm loving it, rocking it. Well, after about week two or three, waking up at five o'clock in the morning, I was not loving it anymore. And I was, I wanna quit, I don't wanna do this. I want to sleep in. I'll start, you know, working out another time next year, <laughs> whatever. I just, I was, I was struggling. I was struggling and I would lay in bed and think about what I could say in a text to cancel my workout with my trainer. And uh, what I realized is, or my secret for my step seven that really saved me is I came up with a mantra. And my mantra was, it's only an hour. It's only an hour. So, which is true, my workout was only an hour. So on the mornings when I did not wanna get up and go work out, which honestly was quite often in the beginning, I would be thinking of what I could text my trainer to get out of my workout, but then, then my mantra would come into play and say, Hera, it's only an hour. And I'd be like, yeah, okay, it's only an hour. And that would be enough to get me out of bed, get me dressed, you know, um, and feed my dog, do all that and get to the gym. And then sure enough, I would be back and I'd be like, oh my gosh, it actually was only an hour. Create your mantra. If you like it's only an hour, by all means use it. If you have a different mantra, use it. Your mantra will pull you through the tough times when you don't wanna work out. So anyway, I hope you like those tips. If you have any thoughts or questions, please leave them in the comments below. I so appreciate you joining me on this video. And if you like this type of video, give it a thumbs up and I will do more of them. And again, my name is Hera Brown and I so thank you for being here.